What's up guys, Justin here with thesketchupessentials.com. So in today's video, I wanna talk about some quick tips that can make your life a lot easier from a selection standpoint. Let's go ahead and just jump into it. All right, so this is something we actually talked about in the SketchUp Essentials course live call last night. So we have live calls in the course where members can actually come in and ask their questions live. Uh, we talk about SketchUp and it's a lot of fun. But one of the things that we talked about was how you can select difficult objects or how you can pick up part of a selection in SketchUp effectively. So um, I've got these two models that I've brought in from, actually I've brought these in from my Blender content, but I really wanted to look at them and uh, talk about how we can quickly select different parts and pieces of these. So um, there's a couple tips that are gonna make your life a lot easier. So first thing that I think everyone needs to understand when it comes to selections in SketchUp is the difference between right to left and left to right selection. So. If I come in here and I drag in one direction or the other, notice how the boxes that this creates are different. So what that means is if I drag from left to right, notice how the box is not dotted. That means that any geometry that's actually like fully inside of the box will be selected. So what that means is that means that if the geometry like this face right here isn't fully inside of the box, it won't get picked up, right? So if I'm selecting from left to right and I wanna pick all of that up, I need to make sure it's fully in the box. Now, if you click and drag from the other direction, notice how this is a dotted line, right? I'm going from right to left. Well, if you have the dotted line dragging from right to left, this is going to select anything that it touches. So notice how if I come in here and I drag into this space, right here and I just touch it, but it's not fully in the box, that's still going to get selected. So right to left and left to right selections can be extremely valuable in helping you pick up exactly what you need. So um, the other thing that to me is extremely valuable is using a top down or a straight on view in order to select things in your object. And so specifically what that means is let's say that I wanted to come in here and I wanted to delete out half of this monkey, right? So I've got it split right here, but what I wanna do is I wanna remove all of the geometry on this side of the object over here. And so doing that right now, even by like kind of rotating around could be a little bit different. Like if I look at this, notice how um, it's picking up some extra geometry on the back, it's just not necessarily doing exactly what I want it to do. So what I usually do is I wanna go into one of these views right here, the standard views. And you can access these by right clicking and making sure that your view toolbar is selected. But if I click in here, on this front face, notice how it's still a little bit difficult. And um, so we'll talk about this in a second. It's a little bit difficult in the sense that this, that this isn't a true straight on view. Well, you can fix that by going to camera and turning on parallel projection instead of perspective. So notice how when I turn on parallel projection, this is no longer going into a vanishing point. Um, from a perspective standpoint, that means I can now come in here and I can select everything straight on like this. So notice how now using my selection to pick this up is really easy and I'm able to actually remove what I wanna remove. So one other thing to note about this, and I was noticing this um, yesterday when I was talking about it, one other thing to note about this is once you get into this view, right, you don't necessarily want to be trying to like orbit out of it and then come back into it. Um, once you get into the straight on view, you wanna be able to actually move this around. And so there's a couple ways that you can do that. The first is you could use the zoom window tool and then click and drag in order to just zoom around this object right here. That's going to centralize that object in your uh, in the middle of your screen and then you're gonna be able to come in here and do this really easily. So alternatively, and this is a shortcut that I use a lot that I think a lot of beginners don't, you can also scroll in and out, but if you wanna like move this on your screen, you can use the pan tool. So what the pan tool is going to do is that's gonna move your object horizontally or vertically. And so you can come up here and click on that tool um, in order to access that. But for me, what I do is I hold the shift key on my keyboard and then I click and drag my middle mouse button. And what that's going to do is that's gonna put me in pan 
mode. So that allows me to really quickly move around because I can scroll to zoom, I can hold shift, click and drag, I can scroll again. Notice how I'm able to put this in here really quickly. And then if I accidentally zoom off of this, I can just bring it right back like this. So that can be a big time saver. Sometimes when you're trying to pick up geometry, like say I wanted to get rid of half of this Bonnie model in here, like this, right? Say that I wanted to do that. Well, what's happening is it's picking up extra geometry in here because the geometry in the middle of this object has been softened. So what that means is that means that even though there's an edge here that makes up this face, um, it's not actually something that uh, we can select. It's not splitting the face. But if you go into your view and go to hidden geometry, what that's going to do is that's going to show you all of the geometry in your object, even the softened and smooth geometry. Well, what that means is that means that now if I was to come in here and click and drag like this, notice how this is actually picking up all of the faces in here. So now I could go ahead and delete that half of this object like this, leaving me half of the object in here. So sometimes turning hidden geometry on is gonna give you more options for what you can select um, inside of SketchUp. So if you're having trouble picking up a certain part of an object, consider toggling that hidden geometry on so that you can get it all. And so one other selection tip that a lot of people miss because it's a newer feature is you can also use the lasso select tool. What the lasso select to is, tool is going to do is it's going to allow you to actually drag inside of SketchUp in order to pick up geometry. So in this case, right, this object isn't necessarily perfectly aligned. And so what I can do is I can click and drag in here and I can use this tool. And again, right to left and left to right are still things with this tool, but I can use this in order to pick up everything inside of the selection right here. So see how now I was able to pick all of this up. And then if I wanted to remove this from the selection, I could just do a shift control and then just click and drag a left to right box right here in order to deselect this. But that lasso select is actually really valuable for coming in here and um, adding and removing things to your selection, just like this. If you want to come to our live calls and ask your questions, questions live as well as getting some SketchUp instruction, make sure you check out the course. I'll link to it on this page. Let me know if there's any selection tips that you use that I forgot. I just love having that conversation with you guys. As always, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this and I'll catch you in the next video. Thanks guys.